G'day guys. I've got a modified 5000 and a standard 5000. And I've got it uh, set up with my antiphase coils so I can run these detectors in mono mode and have them run in the workshop. So what I'm going to do is do a comparison between a modified detector and a standard detector. So first of all, well, that won't stay there, it'll probably hit the ground as usual. Unless I jam it, stay there. Okay, this is a, you have to get behind the camera without kicking the tripod like I usually do. It's a standard 5000. I've put standard on there. It's just come in. It's for upgrades, modifications. And I'll put my hand over that because it's got the guy's name on it. But if you can see the sticker, not that it means much these days because we can get those off uh, without damaging them. But uh, that's a standard. It hasn't been touched. I'm not going to show serial numbers or anything. Comes with uh, dirt straight out of the field, basically, I think. So that is our standard GPX 5000. And these comparisons I'm going to do also will be much the same for a, a 4500 or a 4000 or a 4800, whatever there is. So what we'll do, we'll do the standard detector first. So And I'll set it all back to factory default. We'll stick that in there, stick it some power back on the detector. Oops, should have held the switch down, shouldn't I? Okay, switch down. All settings. Okay, all settings, reset the factory default. On the front of this detector, let's make sure, first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to do it in normal mode normal deep mono because i've got those things and i'm going to leave it in tracking so basically it is standard okay there's a little bit of interference coming through but it might disappear it might be these wireless mics doing it i don't know so what we'll do first off 0 0.05 we'll try it on the coils I'm going to move this chair here because I, the tripod legs are so far out that, uh, yeah, even moving the chair is going to bump into it. Hang on. I'll just angle things over here. Okay, so we go to the coils. Okay, we'll try 0 0.05. Now I've got this ruler here, if you can see the numbers. Uh, maybe I'll have to go in a little bit closer, or I'll just zoom in. Hopefully I can do this. Okay. One manned operation here, it's very difficult. <laughs> but anyway, 0 0.05. We're putting out around about four centimetres. It's on the bottom of the stick, so you get an idea. A little bit above four, it just disappears. So we'll call it four, more or less. Four? Well, maybe less than four. It's epoxy signal anyway. <laughs> Hang on. No, it's actually probably about th three, three and a half, three point six, on that, something like that. Anyway, it's uh, yeah, we're not getting much of a signal. What I'll do with this detector is I will go and flick this into enhance mode. I wanted to go and do like uh, normal 
on one detector, normal on the other. Enhance on one, then enhance on the other. But what will that will just take up heaps of time swapping cables over and stuff. So what I'll do, I'll do it all on one on the standard detector first. So that's normal mode, standard settings, about three and a half centimeters on the ruler, which is actually when you look at it to the top of the coil. So Okay, we'll get in here and I'm going to put this in enhance. So straight into enhance mode. Oh, hang on a second, hang on a second. I'm jumping the gun. Let's do a hot rock test first. I put it back in normal and it's in tracking. I really probably need to flick it in the fast track to do this, but we'll use this. I'll try and get it the track. Come on. Come on. Now I'm going to flick the switch. I'm just going to walk around the tripod every time I do this. So. Wrong switch. Hang on. Back. Okay. I've done a quick, quick track positioning on it. That's better. Standard detector, normal, will not, will not get rid of the hot rock, okay? Standard detector. still there okay that was normal now I'm going to put it into enhance okay the detector is enhanced and what I'm going to do when I do this I'm going to make sure that I do everything in the same sequence between both detectors so it's very hard look I tell you right now it's very hard to please everybody who watches They'll say, oh, this, this, is, this is nothing. This, this should be done out in the field. It should be done on a test site. But if I don't do it in, in the workshop, how would I know how it's going to go on the test site? Do it in the workshop first. You don't build detectors out in the bush. Okay. This is enhance. We're above four, which I would hope for, I think. Now I'm going to get down as low as the camera. So about here, that's four. No, about four, and it puts out. So enhance, 0 0.05, four. You should write these numbers down. So you can compare, rather than flicking back through the video, it's better if you write them down, believe me. Because even, I, I will forget... Uh, when I get to the end of the uh, video. What was that again? There's just too many numbers to remember in what sequence. Hot rock. Come on. Okay, this detect... I was going to jump in front of the camera. This detector needs a flick on tracking. So we go, fixed the tracking. Excuse my big buff head. And that's what I would expect. I would expect Enhance to get rid of that hot rock, which it has done. And when I'm over here, I'm just going to check the other microphone to make sure I actually turned it on. Yes, it is. That's all right. That's the one above the speaker. Okay, this detector, I'm now going to put it into fine gold. So special fine gold. It should be better on that small target. We'll just have a look.
not getting it at five, I'd say I call that a good four and a half. Four and a half. Get up to five, we'll try it. No, no, it's, it is there, but it's very wishy washy. What do we call it? Four and a half or five? Yeah. You know, I want to get this accurate. I don't want to do a bodgy on it. We'll call it five. We'll call it five because I can hear it in some of the swings. Other swings I can't, but we'll, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. So, and oh, hot rock, hot rock response. A ping. Now, I was getting, getting again. I'll put it over there. I'll just get in there and give it a flick into tracking. Again, so back into fixed, then into tracking. It causes the detector to do something like about a five second fast track. Um, mode. A lot of people don't realize that. Some people do. So we'll just get in there and do it. So into fixed and back into tracking and beautiful. It's what you'd expect. Okay. Let's try the modified detector. I'll put the camera around. And I'm probably zoomed in, but that's all right. Should be okay. Okay. In. In. And I'll see what modes and things we're in. Okay, it's in tracking, it's in mono, which is on the dual coils. Um, normal timings, deep. And we'll just have a look see. I think I was about there somewhere. Bloody hard working with this tripod in the room. It just you know, it's, it's it's nearly a meter between legs at the bottom, and you nearly trip over it. Anyway, normal mode zero point zero five. Let's see how we go. Can I hit six? No. Five, you hit five. So if you remember, the standard detector could get to about 3.5, and I'm getting to five. If you look at that as a percentage increase in close field detection, that is astronomical like if I go close to the coil the signal is unreal that's normal mode normal timings on a 0 0.05 I probably overload it but have a look clear as clear beautiful Five and a half. Some of those swings, I'm getting it up near six, but uh, I, th I think a fair, we'll call it a five. Five is far greater than three and a half. And like I say, it was just putting out. It was just nothing in it. If I go down to three and a half where the other detector was getting it, where it was just ready to putt out, clear signal, no problem. Okay, the big test. Hot rock. Hot rock, okay? Big test. Because you can have 
lot to gain, lots of um, have the frequency up. You can do a lot of things, but if you can't get rid of hot rocks, it's a waste of time. It really is. So I'll get in here and just flick it, fixed in the tracking, and get on it fast. Give it another flick because it did do it better for me when I tested it before. I worry it wasn't quick enough. Okay, here we go. Whoops, nearly knocked the stick over. Okay, hot rock basically got rid of it. It's a little bit, uh, it's a big ask on these detectors running. Um, the way it's been designed, trying to get rid of something like that, that's a Kalgoorlie thing. And, you know, like I say, if, um, you know, if I got uh, some magnets and that won't come off, <laughs> it's on the hard. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty decent hot rock. The other thing to do with your detectors to see if, uh, it's got the proper cancellation for the Earth's magnetic field. Get some strong magnets and bounce it near the coil and make sure the detector doesn't go woo, woo, woo when you do it. Right? If that was uh, had anything wrong with its um, Earth's magnetic field cancellation, that would be going crazy. It's stable as a rock. Except when I go to the magnet close to the coil. Because <laughs> it's metallic. But anyway. Yeah. Horses for courses. So yeah, she um, normal mode uh, with everything like how it's working. No hot rocks. You're probably still going to pick them up, but you'll balance them out. Okay, let's go into enhance mode. Okay, she's now in enhance mode. Now, like I say, we're all going to forget what the distances were on the other one as we keep going through the numbers. So write it down. Have a look at where it was. I think it was four, but I don't quote me on that. So. Well, oh, six. Yeah, six, no problem. Now it's hard to keep this swinging. It wants to do this all the time because I'm not a robot. <laughs> Hang on. I'll move that back a bit so I get a bit of swing at it. Maybe because I keep hitting, the hitting it on there. Okay. Whoops, six. I can hear it at six. I wouldn't push it past that. I don't think it's being fair. But hold it at six and come back. Yeah, I can hear it. Woo! So, now if I go right down the coil, like I did with the other one. I mean, you're not going to miss that in a million years, are you? It just shows you how much better it is. I mean, seeing is believing. If we can get rid of hot rocks. You can swing it fast. Six and a half, I could hear it then, but uh, we'll, we'll, we're not going to call it six and a half. We'll call it six. Hot rock. Hot rock and enhance. Should eat it. For, should eat it for breakfast, even with all that extra performance. We've got to flick it. Hang on. Fixed tracking and 
away we go. Gone. No hot rock? Okay, next test. We're going into fine gold. This will be interesting. Fine gold is a very, very hard mode to make work properly. It really is. Okay. Okay, we are in special fine. Zero point... Oh, God, it's saying low battery. Uh, damn. Anyway, I don't think we lose the video when it says low battery. I think it's just telling me. I did try and charge this before. Damn. Okay, check that out. Okay, fine gold. Seven. Whoopsie. <laughs> I don't keep doing that, don't I? Eight. Nine. I'm only hearing it on partial swings. At nine, it's asking too much. Go to eight. Eight. Okay. Hot rock. We'll get in there and just give it a flick. We're fixed. Back into tracking doesn't care less it don't care less hot rock eats it for breakfast the other one won't do that I'm sure it's as sensitive as something Put a hot rock right in the middle of the coil. Up at eight, still detects it. So mineralized ground's not going to affect it um, in any way, shape, or form. Anyway, so you know, for people who say, you know, oh, you know, it's not, it's not a fair test. It's not out in the ground. It's a bloody same thing. You know, it's the same thing. It's not going to make any difference. A pulse induction detector. It's not a VLF. It works on a different, um, completely different mechanism, different way of how it does things. What it does in air, it will do 99.9% .9 in the ground. It is going to make just about no difference. I mean, to, to prove a point here, here's a big, 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 Container of Denoli ground, Denoli ground, like mineralized to the almighty, you know what? <laughs> right? Can I can I still get it? Can I get it at zero point zero five at nine? Can I do it? Oh, here we go. We'll try. I can hear that. Wee -oo, wee -oo. I won't do it at the same time because that means I'm covering that up with my voice. So the dirt, mineralized dirt in most cases, makes no difference. None. Zero. Let's use a point one just for the hell of it. There you go. Point one. Even the 05, way up here. I'm well above our, what we're getting it in normal detection anyway. But it just goes to show, it doesn't make any difference. So please, please, the people who always say that, um, oh no, it's not like a field test, it's not the same. 
please educate yourself. You must be in VLF mode or BFO mode or, you know, induction balance mode or, or something. It's not the same comparing all other types of detectors um, against a PI. A PI will eat this stuff for breakfast. It doesn't care. I put a, a VL, I can, I'll put a VLF on here and it'll bloody kill the signal. So it doesn't make any difference on the, with a PI if it's in air or it's through mineralized dirt. It makes no difference, fraction of a percent. It doesn't really do anything unless the ground is so mineralized with, with iron um, that it's completely bamboozled crazy, right? Like I could do that here. How about we go fill the whole thing up with pure ferrite? Iron cores, okay? We'll put iron cores all over it, right? And I'll use a mixture of iron cores. These things are um, fairly, especially that, that's um, got a permeability of about uh, 1200. Stick that on there. Let's stick some more on there. Um, we'll stick some, we'll stick some ferrite rods on there too. Here we go. We're right up there now. We're, we're covered with this. This would be the hottest ground ever if you could actually have this in the ground. It will be red hot. Okay, so what we do now, and I'll, I'll throw a powdered iron core on there for fun. Right, this is really high permeability. This, this as soil, is is hotter than anything you'd find out in the field. So. There we go. We'll use a, we'll use this because it's not fair using the 0 0.05 because we're above the normal detection depth for getting it in air anyway. But you know, not a problem. We get in the middle of the coil. I well, can't really work out where is it. There, there, somewhere. It doesn't make really much difference at all. Even with that loading, that, that's massive. You're not going to encounter that out in the gold field unless you, 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 you're detecting on, you know, tin roof or something like that. Um, you know, I try and... Uh, get in the hot rock in there. So, hot rocks there. Everything's there. Um, I just find something that's a bit more of a decent, decent target. I don't know if I've got anything around. Um, can you try a ring? Well, have a look at this. Sorry. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm too zoomed in too far. Okay, I've dumped a whole heap of... Hang on, I'll show you. <laughs> I've filled it up with ferrite, right? The whole container is full of ferrite. I'm going to be quick doing this. I'm just ready to run out of battery. I can see it's starting to flash. But, uh, you know. Thirty-two, thirty-three on the ring. So, like I say, it... It was out of shot anyway. So, yeah, on this, it was way up the top of the ruler there because that's a big extended ruler. So that is the proof of the pudding between the modified one and the standard one. I mean, you can't make it any more clear than that. So kill that off. And even so, the whole thing, you know, you've got the variable gain there, you can, you can I've had this, that's flat out, by the way, and it's still damn quiet, it's still ground balances, and dove, does everything it's meant to. Now, this is the point I want to get across. You know, people, people always, you know, I don't know why. There's, there's people out there who, um, you'll do something, and you can see it's much better, and they will attack you over it. Uh, the best one I ever heard is, well, how come MindLab didn't do that? That's a good question. 
Why didn't MindLab do that? Why not? That's the question. Why didn't they? I know why, to a degree. It's my opinion. I know why. You can guess it for yourselves. But uh, like I say, that's a modified detector. That will get gold. This one here misses. And it works on bigger targets too, exactly the same way. And it's nice and quiet. So, there you go. Standard 5000, modified 5000. And the thing is too, I haven't finished. I only put this back together so I can go out and run around the bush with it in the uh, one of the other videos, one of the last videos I did. So wait till I finish this. I'm going to get rid of a lot of the, uh, there's very slight chatter in the audio on all these detectors. You, you know yourself, you hear that chatter. I'm going to get rid of that because I know what's causing it. So you, you watch and see the next one of these. If I do it either out in the field running around or on the bench. On the bench, uh, I can do, you know, it's much easier to compare. I don't have all these variables. Um, but, you know, on a test site, which I would have to drive up to Havelock um, near Denali from Ballarat to go and use a, um, the test site every other Tom, Dick and Harry uses, or I could go to Talbot. But that's getting a bit ropey now. And what we need, I've got to say this, we need a test site in Ballarat. We need a proper test site. I've been onto the council and it's like talking to a brick wall. Um, even though we've got community land use areas everywhere, just out in the bush, trashy areas, freaking, they are not interested, as far as I can tell. I've never, ever had any communication returned when asking. So maybe we should all get together and march down there and demand it because it's a community use uh, thing. And then we can all make really, really good measurements of what does what. But uh, at the moment, it's a little bit hit and miss, isn't it? So this probably turned off anyway. No, it's still going. Still going. Uh, low battery. Better close that off. Still going. Um, yeah. Look, you know, I can't do much more than that. And uh, yeah, look. I don't know. If people, if people think there's some bloody smoke and mirrors going on, prove it. You know, prove it. What smoke and mirrors? It is what it is. I can't do it any more straightforward than when I'm doing it. Um, you know, what do you want me to do? You know, these are the people who say this isn't a fair test. Yes, it is. It's a freaking fair test. It's really fair. It's, it's how anyone would do anything, you know. You don't need to go out into a gold field to say, oh, this, you just do the same things you do in the gold field here in, in your workshop. Do the same things. You've got hot ground. Oh, I can make hot ground. I've got tubs of this stuff. I can go and make it six foot bloody tall if you want. And I can still probably put a decent coil set up on it and detect things under it where the other one won't. I mean, you know, <laughs> ah, it just flusters me because I keep getting these student uneducated comments, right? Because if people just don't know. What you've seen here is how you do it. This is how you do it right? And your, your results are like a lab experiment. They're going to show the results. There's no difference. Anyway. Yeah, anyway, I've, I've, got, to, I've got to go and um, uh, turn that standard one into a modified one now. <laughs> so, catch us later.